Hello everyone, Clint here. I hope everybody is doing great today. Today I'm coming at you with a case review for the fancy new brand new S24 Ultra, which I got mine here in the fantastic orange color, but uh, not all of us can always just wear one of these naked so or use it bare and we're going to need a case. And this particular case here is from iBlazon. They sent these out to me to take a look at. And these are their armor box. So these are the mega cases, uh, guys. So yeah, this is when you need some serious protection here is you get one of these armor boxes from iBlaze and they are absolutely pretty tough cases. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this guy out and see what we got. Looks like that's the whole package in, ooh, let's see what we got. Oh man, look at this. This is the red one. Look at that beautiful baby. Holy cow. All right. Uh, let's see. We got an instruction manual inside of its own little sleeve here. It looks like we got some QR codes, um, different instructions. Uh, these can be a little, a uh, little tricky for sure to get in and out. So that's why they provide those constructions. And let's see here. We're going to go ahead and as you can always say, it says separating from casing from part of the case. You always like that one corner here you want to start out with. And these are two-piece cases, guys. So I think the best protecting cases are those two-piece cases that allow you to have a, a couple different little uh, layers of protection in there. And that's just for shock absorbing, right? So the better you can get it to absorb shock, uh, the more, um, you know, protective the case. I mean, that's pretty obvious. I think everybody's got that part figured out here. So let me pull these two apart here and see what we got. Okay, guys, real quick, I had to actually use a tool to get that pride up in that corner. Um, not a big deal, I guess, but uh, they are very locked in once they get them, once you get it locked in here. So this particular case here is also a two-piece but it also has a built-in screen protector which is great if you're into that kind of stuff me personally i don't like built-in screen protectors but it does give you instructions right here how to take that off it looks like you just kind of heat it up uh, and then you can just kind of remove it from the the frame so that would be what i would do if i was going to keep this case on but we're going to go to leave it on here because that's the way it comes. And I know a lot of, I know a lot of people that use those particular cases. So that's pretty awesome. So what we're going to go ahead and do is install this. And these ones here, you always install the frame part first. So we're just going to snap that onto the case like that. See there. You can see it's kind of snapped in there. And then you can, then you can uh, peel this part off. And look at that. I already messed it up. You got to peel the fingerprint part off from the inside. So we're gonna pull that back off. I did not see that. So remember that. It must be like some kind of special fingerprint area to allow you to more easily access the, um, yeah, the fingerprint sensor on the phone. And then we're just gonna drop this right in here. This part's pretty easy. Uh, getting it on is pretty easy. Not a problem right there. And there you go, there you go. Man, that is a serious case. All right, I see there, you can see that little uh, little area where the fingerprint sensor is. And that one must be like a thinner part of the screen or something, but wow, this thing is absolutely beautiful. I mean, that is a beautiful, beautiful case. All right, let's go ahead and go around here. So we got here, you got serious corner bumpers for some serious shock absorption there. The right side here has tons, or I guess the left side, there's no buttons on this side. It's just all these raised areas to give you plenty of grippage right there. Lots of grippage on this case. And then here you go, another big corner piece right here. Go around the top. You got a nice indention there for the speaker. I mean, the microphone, sorry about that. The microphone's more grippage, another big corner. Here on the right side, you do have the push through buttons, which I prefer on these cases right here. And I can tell they are nice, nice and clicky buttons. Yep, perfect. So those are coming out great. More, uh, more grippage in here like that. Got the corners, got a little, little hole here, here if you want a lanyard. And then here on the bottom, you got the cutout for the speaker. And then you got the cutout with that is, does have the cover on it for the charging port and you can see how thick that baby is compared to that charging port and that just pops right back on there 
And then we got the S Pen. Let's see how easy it's gonna to be to get the S Pen out. No problem. I like the way they designed that. Uh, left it completely open so you can get your S Pen out, but at the same time still protects it. Now, this is a serious case, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back of it here. Here we go, the back of it right here, you do have a lens cover. So you can pop your lens over like that. So full, complete protection of your camera. That is fantastic. You got some awesome, let's flip it around here. You got a little armor box um, branding right there. You got little rubber things right here, 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 which is gonna you know, help you keep the, keep the, I guess, grip on the table. So if you set it down, it's not going to slide off anywhere. And then you got just some awesome design elements here, guys. These look totally cool. Like, I mean, when you, you throw your phone on here, this thing looks totally awesome. It's just a, a, a just an amazing looking case. And if you notice here, you got a little bit something different. You don't see in these um, more, sturdy protective cases and that's a magsafe ring right there so that is absolutely awesome i think this is the first one that i've ever tested for the ultra rugged case that has magsafe built into it so bravo eye blaze and there's a little eye blaze and branding right there so let's go ahead and take a look at this magsafe here so here is a regular puck from wow Woe right there and we're going to put that right on there and yeah, there it is. There's MagSafe on an ultra rugged case. The blue light lets us know it is charging. And then of course the uh, phone is letting me know it is charging also. So I'll be curious to see how strong this is. And yeah, it's strong. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, that is nice and strong. That is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic how they got that to do that. I don't know if they thin that out to get the wireless charging to go pretty good, but you usually wireless charging works just fine on these cases too, so I guess not. But let's go ahead and take a look at the front uh, protection right here. You got a nice upper lip here to give you that uh, raised area. So when you're dropping your phone down like that, you are good to go. And looks like we got a nice cutout for the speaker up there. Yeah, this looks this looks perfectly fine now how's it feel in the hand it feels big guys i can tell you right now it is a well i mean it's a big phone right 6.8 inch giant phone then you put a nice big rugged case on there and that makes it even bigger so there's not a way you can get around that i mean if you're getting a case like this on an ultra phone uh you know what you're you know what you know what the score is you know what you're getting here all right guys let's go ahead and give that fingerprint sensor a try and doesn't like that doesn't like that doesn't like it so my recommendation always is if you're going to use a screen protector of any kind on a fingerprint sensor ca uh, case I just go back in there and redo your fingerprint with that on there. It's usually going to give you perfectly good luck on that, but I'm not too surprised that that wouldn't work the first try. But nice little cut out there from the screen protector for the camera. But like I said, most of the time I use these without that screen protector built into that particular one there. But we are going to give this one last shot to see if we can get it off easily. I take cases off on, on and off all the time, and it um, so it's important to me. But I think if you're putting a case on like this, this is your go-to case, right? So uh, you probably wouldn't be taking it off nearly as much as I would be taking it off. But again, it's pretty struggle bus right here. Uh, it's just easier for me just to use a tool, guys, just to kind of, you know, whatever kind of tool you got there, just to get that initial part off right there. And then... And then it, once you get that initial corner off, it comes right off. So it uh, <clears throat> shouldn't be an issue uh, after that particular bed. But we'll take a look at the inside while we have it out. And you can see it's all rubberized right here. Nice little pieces right there to hold that frame in. Uh, nice hard plastic in the back there. That is a super rugged case. So if you're looking for a rugged case, uh, I would definitely recommend one of these. Uh, one thing we're going to test real quick, because I know somebody's going to ask me, is how does that, um, let me get into this phone here. 
how does it particularly work with the S Pen. And of course, this, this screen protector gives you a nice scroll. You don't have any problem with that. I can get to the edges for my edge thing. No problem with that. And we will give the S Pen a good shot here real quick on some Samsung Note action. And so we're gonna give it, let's see what we got. Yeah, so as you can see there, no problem at all with the S Pen on this screen protector. They usually don't have any problems, but I know somebody who's gonna ask me that. So we'll just head that off in the past. So these come in a bunch of different colors. I blaze and also uh, pretty reasonably priced cases, uh, especially for what you get. And now with the new MagSafe ring, that is, that is awesome. So I'll show you some colors here in the future uh, on some shorts so you can see which kind of different ones you're gonna get. But man, that is a good looking case. But that's all I got for you guys today. See you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.